Hey guys, Battle Snipe here. How's it going? You couldn't really tell me. Who cares? Um, today I got a special video um, concerning what I think Halo 5 matchmaking should have. This is uh, obviously a topic that's been discussed many, many times through the Halo community. Um, if you're not into the Halo community and you're just tuning into this video, get into the Halo community. It's a really great, it's really fun. It's a fun game. Yeah, I like it a lot better than Call of Duty. I want to really discuss the matchmaking system for Halo 5, the way I think it will make it a very successful game. Besides, obviously, the gameplay is important too, but uh, I think the gameplay has been talked about many times over and over, and I don't think I need to be talking about it anymore. First things first is ranked and non-ranked playlists. Um, this is very important. I, th I feel like they're trying to approach with all the playlists being ranked. I know that's what they're aiming for for MCC. Um, this is okay, but a lot of people who want to play Halo just want to play for fun. So when they're searching, you know, I want to play a casual 4v4, um, there should be a playlist that's a 4v4, Social Slayer. I can go into the game, not give a care about my rank, just go in, play, have fun, whatever. If I can, you know, I have really bad friends that play this game sometimes, so... To me, it's like a beneficiary, like, oh, I, you guys want to play with me? Sure, we'll just play some social or we'll play custom games, something like that. Um, I'm glad that they have dedicated servers, by the way. It's really awesome. Um, two categories, ranked and non-ranked. Very simple. Uh, I don't like how they're setting up the playlist now where it's just one list. Uh, I liked how Halo 3's was, where it was like it had a list of ranked and non-ranked. And then you select ranked and it would pop up all the playlists for that. And you select non-ranked and then all the playlists would show up for that. That was great. Second thing is for the ranked playlist, I think there should be a mandatory of five ranked that I think should automatically be in. And it should be Team Slayer, Team Objective, 2v2s, 1v1s, okay, and competitive settings. So like the competitive community, like the HCS settings basically. Um, for ranked, I think those are the five important, pretty much the playlist that defined Halo. Like, you got your Slayers, you got your Objectives, you got your 2v2s, your 1v1s, and you got um, your HCS. Also, I think Free For All would be great, but I don't, I find it's, I don't know, you don't have to place first every time to get to a level 50, right? Like, obviously it helps. But in my opinion, free for all is a matter of once everyone starts knowing what they're doing, it's really a matter of luck in your spawns and where other players are during that time. Uh, I find free for all, yes, I can go into a free for all, non rank, dominate a bunch of kids because they have no idea how to play a free for all. But if you go into a free for all where everyone knows how to play the free for all, it comes to terms of if your shot's better that game and if you get the better spawns. So that's the way I see free for all. Um, I'm not saying that it's, it's a bad game type. I love free-for-alls. I could play free-for-alls all day. It's just that's the way I see it. And it's great to warm up to and stuff like that. But anyways, getting a little bit off subject. So step two. For the non-social, uh, you can have big team in there. Like all, all pretty much like anything else. Like you can have team slayer objective and all that. You don't even have to have competitive. I, I wouldn't put competitive settings because people would try to warm up to that. Uh, where there's other playlists you can warm up to to uh, warm up for those competitive settings, but that's pretty much what I see that they should have for social. It's pretty much almost like the same things, like 2v2s, um, free-for-alls should definitely be in it, and uh, should it be like team snipers and stuff like that. You, you can make team snipers ranked. Um, I don't think it's mandatory, but you know it's a nice playlist to have ranked. Um, it'd be great to have it in Halo 5 with the, the new sniping, how it's like a little bit different. Anyways, oh yeah, the matchmaking itself. So when you go to search, um, usually when you search by yourself, especially now in Halo, um, you can get matched up with teams of four by yourself. And it's like the most stressful thing ever because you know like some of your teammates won't have mics or there's no communication. And automatically, yeah, sometimes there's teams of four that absolutely suck and like you can rape them with randoms, but it's most likely you're not going to have that happen. Um, I know when the ranking system for the MCC came out, that didn't matter. Like, if you go in by yourself, you can face a team of four. Like, 
I think they fixed it now. I think fours and threes, phase four and threes. But Halo three had like the best system. Fours match fours, threes match threes, and like sometimes you get one random each. And twos and ones search for twos and ones. Like that's how rank should be. Period. All the time, no matter what. Right off the bat. If that's not off the bat, people are going to be going into the game, facing teams for getting frustrated with the game, quitting the game, selling the game. Bye bye Halo. I'm done playing Halo. That can't happen. Social, you can have that happen, I guess. Um, th to me, it's not a big deal because it's just social, so there's no rank to it, so you're just playing to play it. But for ranked, you need to have that system. Fours match fours, three match threes, twos and ones match twos and ones. Plain and simple, very easy done. Um, the level differences, you, ma you can match uh, levels 10 up and 10 below your level. Uh, when you're in a party, it's, it finds in search of the lowest and the highest. So let's say I'm a level 40. So you can search for a 50, right? But you have a guy in your squad that's a level 35. So because he's the lowest, the highest you can search is a level 45. But the lowest you can search since you're a 40 can be only 30 instead of 25 from the 35. So that's how it should go from your lowest and your highest ranked. And it should be like if the guy has a higher ranked... I'm looking down a lot. Sorry about that. If you have the highest ranked uh, person in your playlist, you can only search um, to the lowest 10, and the lowest guy can only search for his highest 10. Plain and simple, that that was the best system I thought Halo did have. It worked for Halo 3 really fine. Like I had, I never had problems matching people. Um, yeah, sometimes people have you know bot accounts and stuff like that, but who cares? Really, like who cares? Um, if they buy account, that's their money they want to waste, and they're the ones who are just going to get embarrassed in the Xbox Live anyways. I'm sorry for the people who have to have them as a teammate, but they will rank down. So I think there should be a progressive ranking system, as in like uh, being a sergeant, colonel, general, like the Halo 3 system, or you can have whatever they had in Halo Reach was fine too. Uh, just always gaining experience no matter what no matter how you play you play you gain experience you can unlock like uh, weapon skins armor skins uh, actual armor cool looking armor that that one makes halo really fun to play um, for that reason for especially for the casual players but for the ranked players they also have that ranked with that um, call of duty did a pretty good job black ops 2 they had the ranking but you got a lot ton of experience for your progressive system for playing a progressive system for playing ranks so that was a good part of Black Ops 2. I, I believe Black Ops 3 is also going to be a great game. Um, but back onto Halo 5. So uh, pretty much that's what I think should happen um, in the Halo matchmaking system. I think that's very mandatory to have um, to have in the system because when the game comes out and the system's like not like that, like you play ranked and you're searching like these shitty people or you have shitty playlists to play, like – just keep it simple guys like really like keep it fucking simple right i apparently they want to keep the playlist short i don't know why like I, did you have you seen call of duty it has like 20 fucking things like you go on call of duty it's like what do i want to play so many things they have like 20 categories like ranked social uh random shit uh pick up my freaking gun on the ground shit i don't know like they have all zombies whatever they have all these things for their thing and like it doesn't bother them like if the playlist isn't popular it's not popular a big deal if there's if it becomes too too low of popularity they'll just take it out plain and simple like easy peasy um the whole mcc roster thing i don't like that either um press x and stuff like that halo reach had the best one like, I don't know why we're downgrading from the older generation games. Like, Halo 3 had a great matchmaking system. Uh, Halo Reach also had a pretty good one. The ranking system was bad. But other than that, it was pretty much the same from Halo 3, except for the partying. Yeah. But the friends list was great. Like, you can see all your friends. Click, invite, whatever. Done. Done. Like, it was just so simple. And they just, they removed all that stuff from, like, Halo 4 and MCC and... It's just like, come on, guys, stop downgrading. Like, the, all the awesome detailed from the other games, the small details like this, they take away from the old games. 
made it so awesome. It made it balanced. It made it fun. It made a good experience of the game. That's that was like the main core of the game. Like that's why you played it. Like you played it because it was balanced and fair. You knew you were gonna get people your rank. You knew you weren't gonna friggin' match a party of four. You knew it was gonna be somewhat of a fair game. Yeah, sure. Some people can't somehow got their level and they suck. Well, you know what? We all have our bad games and stuff like that. And there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, the fact that it's not number ranked is fine as long as you rank. I mean, you f you f you search for your rank, I guess. That's all that really matters. You know, your pro status, you should face either pros or semi pros close to your elo. Like, that's pretty much eat. Like, pretty much it. You face gold, you face gold in your three ranks. Like, pretty simple. For Halo 5, this is a must. Like, a mu if Halo needs to come back, I think this is a must. And I do hope for someone from 343 watches this video and, and takes, you know, my, my, my criticism, like, seriously. Like, this is honestly a, a big deal in Halo. Also, another thing. In-game chat, who is talking when they're talking? Who? And does my mic work? How do I know? This was taken out, like, it's not an MCC. I, I play a game with randoms one day, and the kid's like, uh, yo, you want to party up? And I go, yeah, sure. And he goes, oh, what's your game? And then the game ends, right? So I'm like, well... I guess we don't know who we are because it's kind of frustrating that you don't know who's talking in the game chat. I think that that's what makes um, sometimes the call. It's really important. Like, you know, who's talking. So, you know who to look at, uh, especially when you're not rec like you don't recognize your teammates voice and something like just random shit like that. I think that should be implemented into the game is that uh, also for the targeting stuff, like to tell you where your teammates are shooting. Okay. When your teammates are shooting flash yellow. When they're not, when they're getting shot at, flash red. Uh, I think in MCC, it's like it flashes like a light blue that you don't even notice on your screen. And then when they're getting shot at, it's yellow, which you notice. But those indicators are so key to knowing who's getting shot and who's shooting and where they are and stuff like that. Make sure they fix that stuff. It's like when the red X didn't pop. Like, where did the red X go? Anyways, guys, I'm going to cut this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Please give a like. Please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitch, even though I don't stream. I will be shortly, hopefully one day. And enjoy.